welcome back to Changing Careers. And today, a special guest, Ethan Palmatier, top 20 quarterback in the nation. Uh, today, we're just going to start out with some questions, asking him, interview. So uh, when did you first start playing quarterback, Ethan? I've played quarterback for as long as I can remember. Um, started playing flag football in second grade. Um, and I love playing quarterback. I always would throw the ball with my dad in the backyard. And just as long as I can remember, I wanted to be the guy out there, you know, you know, in, yeah. in command, throwing the ball, and I love it, yeah. Oh, what has been one of your favorite football memories so far? Beating West this year was, was really fun. Um, it was a close game through the first, you know, two and a half quarters, but uh, we started performing and executing, you know, to our standard in the, in the third quarter and scored 28 points in the final 15 minutes and, you know, showed that we belong among the conversations like some of the best teams in Oregon. For yeah. sure. So, like I said earlier, you are a top 20 quarterback in the nation. Is that your, like, favorite or greatest accomplishment? Do you have, like, a favorite one? Because you, you have some other great accomplishments. You know, what's your favorite? It was pretty cool being recognized as one of the, um, you know, top performing quarterbacks in the country um, this season. Uh, so far, that's been some of the coolest recognition that I've received. But, um, you know, this offseason I got to go compete at the Elite 11. Um, which is a kind of a regional quarterback competition and you know 30 or 40 quarterbacks from various regions you know they hold seven or eight different camps so being able to go compete there and you know compete against other top quarterbacks was a really good experience kind of just seeing how I match up and getting some of that coaching. Were you surprised when you saw that ranking or did you see it coming? I, um, I was a little surprising getting recognition for it um, I know that I've had a really strong start to this season, and this has kind of been my plan all along. I anticipated being, you know, among, you know, being considered among some of the top performing quarterbacks because, you know, of the nature of our offense and what I know I can do. So, um, I myself wasn't necessarily surprised, but um, I know a lot of people were. So it was cool getting some of those reactions. You knew you deserved it. You just didn't know if it was gonna recognition was gonna come. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a big week for not only the team, but you, since this is your former school. Do you have anything you want to talk about that? So we play Sprague this week. If you guys don't know, Ethan did go there last year, so. Yeah, um, this is definitely uh, an interesting game emotionally. Um, for me, I, I have friends at Sprague, and uh, I don't have hard feelings, but, you know, anytime <laughs> we're going against a team, I want to, you know, beat yeah, them pretty yeah. good. So it should be a fun game. Um, we should put up a lot of points, and it should be a good night for us. Do you have anything you're going to do to keep your emotions in check, or you normally feel like you're, like you're going to be pretty good with that? Because it's just a little, little extra than normal, you know? Mm -hmm. I, feel like, um, I feel like I do a pretty decent job of staying kind of level throughout the week, throughout the game. Um, just keeping things consistent, you know, kind of having my same routine throughout the week. Yep. Same routine Thursday, Friday. Um, and just, you know, not getting too excited too early, maintaining the right energy level throughout the game. Uh, something that I've worked on a lot this year and I think has, you know, shown. So just continuing kind of what we've done all year and not changing Treating the winning like formula. Normal game, yep. Um, how are you feeling like just about the team going into week seven? I mean, we are 7-0 and going into it. How are you just feeling about things? Like this year's senior year is starting to come, not to a close yet, but it's starting to get to the back end of the season. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, so far we've, um, we've had a really strong season, you know, 7-0. and there are only, I think, three other teams in the state in the same position as us. So, you know, that kind of, we're in control of our own destiny. Um, you know, how we perform um, can, we can really positively affect our ranking going into playoffs, or, you know, we can, uh, we, we don't have room for mistakes. So, we're, I think we're a really strong team. Um, obviously, I think we have the top scoring offense in the state, and our defense has been tough all year, you know, um, especially in the run game. You know, we've got linebackers <laughs> like you in the middle. So, you know, I'm really confident in our team. Um, I'm confident in our players. You know, we, I have a lot of trust in my guys, my receivers, and my linemen. So just continuing to, you know, have good practice habits and watching film, you know, like we've done all year, yep. putting a lot of work in the film room, which has really showed on the field. And so I'm, 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 really, I'm, really, <laughs> I'm really confident. Um, looking forward to the next few weeks. And, you know, we're 
anticipating playing for a while longer. Yep, playing for something bigger. Uh, do you have any plans that you would like to share for the future? Like college? Or yeah. Anything? You don't have to share anything, yeah. but if you have anything yeah. in the works you want to... So, nothing solidified yet. Um, I'm planning on playing football in college. I'm just not quite sure where yet. So, you know, just plan on Saturday someday. Yep. That's my plan. That's the plan. Um, this is kind of a random question, but if you could play any other position on the football field, what, what, what do you think you'd play? I mean, you're a big guy, so I yeah. feel like you could fit in a couple different positions. What do you think would be your... I played, I played linebacker in youth football. Um, I think I could have been a decent linebacker. I played safety freshman, sophomore year, which was fun. It's fun being a ball hawk, getting yeah. to run downhill and, you know, uh, get some hits in. I think I could also play running back. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I've ran pretty well this year. Back. So, yeah, I think I'm a pretty versatile athlete. Could play a few different positions on the field. Well, we appreciate having you on. I was going to conclude episode two of Changing Gears. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.